So what's here? <laughs> A bite. Is that a little just empty or are there rocks in there on purpose or what? Memorial? For my dad. Amongst others, I'm sure, but my dad. Oh, I keep trying to jump, but I don't have my jump to my jump jets on. I would think I would keep my jump jets on at all times, but that's just me. Dang, I can't talk to Addison here. I have to go talk to her. Probably have to go talk to her on the ship. And then come back and talk to her here. I'm gonna be so mad. All right, yeah. Okie dokie. I just had to go to her floor. Hey, Addison, you know who we were talking to? There's apparently something I'm supposed to really talk to you about. Well, let's not talk about that and talk about something else. I'll talk to Addison. Yes, Pathfinder? Uh... I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of cryo. Did you forget the stink that playing favorites has already caused? Look, you're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can make. Access the sleeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? Okay. Pathfinder, AVP leveling continues as per your directions. And of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and process. Now we're living. <laughs> Why'd you join the initiative? I was a teacher. A good life. I could see the positives and negatives right through to the end. You did the math and it said come to Andromeda? No. I just didn't like being able to see the end. Here, I don't have a clue what tomorrow will bring. It feels more like living. Interesting. Another uh, time. Like what? Pathfinder. I did that on accident. Thank you. I was trying to ask him. Yes, Pathfinder. Why? Why is that? Why is that? Basics. Pathfinder. What's your take on the state of the initiative? Please consult the AVP interface. It has a thorough breakdown of your progress. Mm. And your personal opinion? Your progress thrills me. Make my job obsolete, Pathfinder. <laughs> I <did>. Okay. <laughs> I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, are you <laughs> I don't like this guy. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there'll be no doubt <laughs> that you're responsible. <laughs> this guy is awesome. Oh, that's right, yeah. I heard that the chief engineer on EOS went back into cryo. There have been a few such requests. The first few months in Helios were disheartening. Now that Prodromos is on track, I want her redeployed. Chief Engineer Grace Leto, designation E-97 Durango. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Uh... Why do some colonists have a number letter designation? All initiative members do. In a CV file somewhere, anyway. It isn't relevant when everyone is doing everything. I suppose it's like uh, caring about a middle name. Do you not know yours? No. Oh. I wasn't aware I had one. Hmm. You were in select company, even before you were made Pathfinder. Rider Pathfinder. Specialist designation A03 Malapa. Something yeah, interesting. What does that mean? An A and low odds. Mm, someone's an early adopter. Oh, uh, so like I was on here. I became part of the initiative sooner. 
A07, is he A07 Malapa? I don't know what Malapa is. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, I that say that, except he's recording everything, and if something goes wrong... Another time. Pathfinder. I probably shouldn't have done that one, with the favoritism one. Return to Prodromos. Dang, okay. And I'm gonna be able to talk to this Lido person? Thanks for understanding about the outpost and the protesters. You don't strike me as a political type. I'm not. Just pro keeping everyone alive. Maybe those protesters will eventually understand too. It's done. I don't want to think about it. Need something else? No. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. I think people were like, oh, everyone's gonna love Kandros. Uh, you can fall right in love with him. He's just great. I'm like, he's a male Turian. There's a lot of them. Which is great. I love them, but uh, give me a drill. I want a drill. Or a quarry. I want a quarry and dude. I specifically want a quarry and dude because I could romance Tally in 2 and 3, but I couldn't romance the other guy who I really, really like. The quarry and dude, the soldier guy whose name slips me right now, but freaking heck, I wanted to romance him. So bad. So bad. Alright. Shocking bad it is. <laughs> well, why would you guys eat the food? You know better. It's not good for you. Do I have to talk to... Actually want to talk with me? They just uh, they just want to they just want Sam to do stuff. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry, my frame rates are dropping. I don't know what that crewman did, but uh, they are consistently upset about it. Half the reason I'm quiet in those areas is just to pick up on the ambient dialogue, because it's really good. I mean, the, all the all three, it, it's 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 the the trilogy set a precedent with having really cool, funny, interesting, sad um, ambient dialogue. So I'm glad they kept up with that. New writer from Nito Latilan. You don't know me, but word is you're looking for our arc, Luisina. Is that true? The Nexus's leadership has been so tied up with the stations, like everyone's forgot about her. Please don't get up. My foster sisters were on the Luisina. I've looked, I've watched them every day. If they really out there, not lost in dark space, please bring them home. Praying for you and the people I love. Are you? Are you? Uh, sorry. Oh God. So many things to do. Let's go. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wait. Okay. That one is. Or should I do PB's quest? You know, I uh, you know I, I should probably do. Uh, shoot! Oh, 
Well, wait. Uh, maybe we should talk to Sid on the... Oh, and I forgot to... Let's go back. Back to the Nexus. I'm gonna go back to the Nexus. I'm gonna talk to Sid, and I'm gonna talk to Sam. Sid and Sam. Sid and Sam. Sid and Sam. Sid and Sam. My Sam's a shim. She him. Or neither. You can be whatever you want when you're an AI. I'm tired, I apologize, but I just want to keep playing. That's all I want. I just want to keep playing. Hey, I think I gave Dutch a whole bunch of new ingredients. Probably every planet I go to, though. Uh... We'll have a new planet I can give him. Okay. Sam is on the habitation. And then... Sid... Is... In operations. Yes, I did talk to Director Tan. Isn't that exciting? Get it off my screen. You guys don't talk much. Humans are boring. Someone wants to hang out with humans. Do we have to go in here or just in my dad's room? Writer, one of your father's right. memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI, Simulated Adaptive Matrix, Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this, I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just ask for a refund. <laughs> so can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Oh my um, gosh. To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Yeah. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? Yeah. <laughs> that felt so real. Mom was right there. That would be a really Alive. intense moment for her. It was the her. first time I met Alan. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Uh, mom, That's mom does kind of look like this, but I'm not sure if she's um, if she's predetermined or not. I couldn't really see her eye color. It might have been gray, but I can't tell. Your father's personal logs. Whoa, what? 
Dang, okay. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, mm. this is my secret log. My secret. Anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. Aww. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. So they did know that the, 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 the Quarians. So I don't know. All Quarians knew. Obviously, all Quarians. Well, I don't think Tally at least seemed like she didn't realize what happened to the Geth in the past. Basically, the Quarians did take a hammer to the issue and like freaked out and tried to destroy all the Geth when the Geth hadn't done anything yet. And so the Geth just reacted and tried to save themselves, but what they also don't tell you is that Quarians killed fellow Quarians. Quarians who were trying to protect the Geth were killed in the line of fire. Barlabon says you're looking for Ooh. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Okay, that was stupid, Shadow Broker. I wonder how many XN7s there are, if there are any. That has to be a special, like, designation all its own. Like, why is... I mean, you still have all your N7 skills, you know? But, now you're XN7, so you're no longer constricted by the N7 rules. Alright. It makes sense that he'd contact the Quarians. I didn't even think about it. I mean, contacting the R for alien tech makes sense. But contacting Quarians for research ideas or per perhaps, perhaps precautions about AI research makes sense. And now let's go talk to Sid. Because I think Sid wanted to talk to me privately before I ran off with Vetra. So we'll see. Not sure if I interpreted that right when because I got the separate email from her saying she wanted to talk to me but she also gave Vetra the information over the vit over the call also I should probably go to the vid place and talk to Addison huh huh Dude, I tried to put down your little survey thing and it wouldn't let me. I should go talk to Kesh. Where are you at? Where are you at? Sid, oh Sid, you're like a technician. Oh, you look so cool, Sid. Good that you're here, Ryder. I found something while monitoring comms for the Nexus. Multiple attacks by people called the Three Sabers. They're hitting outposts she looks and supply really vessels. Cool. The really weird part is they seem aware of our operations, like they're getting intel. What are you saying? That someone's feeding them info? Maybe. It would be really bad if that were true, right? I've reported it, and they say they'll investigate, but then forget. But you're the Pathfinder. 
If someone's betraying the Nexus, you have to do something she about it. She looks really good. If they seem to know Don't our operations, that could spell trouble. Best to get to the bottom of it. Thank you. She's so cute. I knew I could count on you. Best Pathfinder ever. I don't know where they hide, but I got the nav points for their most recent raids. Maybe She's so the Tempest cute. scanners can figure out where they went. You're so cute. <laughs> ah. What? Yeah, what? So freaking cute. Should have romanced Vetra. Should have romanced Vetra. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Boop, 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 boop. Now we can go. So, why did she want to talk to me separately when she already told Vetra? And me. Like, we were in the same room during the vid call. Where is the Scourge exactly in the cluster? I don't think I can see it from the system map. I think my face is a little bit sunburned. I want to see new aliens. And why are this? I mean, don't get me wrong. I like seeing alien, like crazy animal aliens. But why the same aliens live on all the planets? Like, why can't each planet have its own different enemies? Unless they kind of do, but they all just kind of look the same to me, I guess. You get your dog ones, and you have your big ones, and then you have your little bug ones. I guess they all look different, but they're all just brightly colored and make me go, eh. Hi. Um. Fui. Nothing's changed on that. Wait, nope. Do, do, do. Where's what? Go away. Oh, shoot. So is that separate? Sid's thing and. What's the burger for? You know what I'm saying? Yes, fade away. Fade away. Alright, well let's go... Freaking heck, man, it's late, but let's go track down the Turian Arc. At least get started. I'd like to know what happens if you, if, if you can find another Pathfinder. It'd be nice to kind of share the title the burden, but at the same time, I don't think the game's gonna let you. <laughs> um. Behind the system that we're currently in? A nebula. A stellar nebula. Definitely beautiful. Oh. I did not want to land here. But thanks. 
Oh, Shattered by the Scourge. This formerly viable planet is now a debris field due to the lack of atmosphere. Few life forms are present. What? Oh my gosh, I can land here? Oh my gosh, there can't be any landforms left. This is an asteroid belt. This is where the Turians were supposed to go? Is that what they were saying? <laughs> okay. Let's bring Vetra and Drac. Low maintenance, high panache. That's what it said. There couldn't be any life forms on this. Why didn't it break the other planets? Is the Scourge alive? What? There's nothing. There's nothing here. Nothing here. live here this is an asteroid belt now there's nothing here it's a beautiful shot We do have to go to Aladdin. Oh. Okay. Well, while we're, I guess while we're here, I don't know what else we have to do. That's part of. Well, that's a, that's her loyalty mission. That's gonna be a long freaking time, and that's not what I wanted to do right now. Okay. I either want to go to Vold or I want to go to Aladdin. Oh man. She's a beauty. Why did it say something? Why did it say something about. I don't know, I'm confused. Right, we can do that. Yeah. If I go to Aladdin though, because then I'll have to worry about um, Drax mission. And I'd like to do Jaws too. So Liam is tied very closely to the success of the initiative. His friendship is, anyway. Still haven't found a lead on the Solarian arc at all. Let's go check out a new planet. It's just one more thing to add to my many list of many things that I have to do, but. I'd like to find some more information on, on a, another Pathfinder. I've already path found a couple of things. I'd like to see if I can find a Pathfinder. If I can path find a Pathfinder. 
Ooh. This system. Is that the Scourge back there? Whoa. I should have saved. I should have saved. That could just be stellar remnants back there, but oh wow, an alignment. Is that a perfect alignment? Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Is this Aladdin? I don't know. I don't. Why? Why am I? I wanted to go. Woo. Oh, it is. We're in the Salbrae system. I see. Okay. A moistureless, sweltering landscape covered by a large number of cover sub subsidence sinkholes. Aladdin still supports life to a limited degree. The fledgling chrome colony of Nutrianca is here, along with what appears to be mining abandoned mining facilities, scattered outposts, and camps. Yes. How exciting. Let's do it. Uh, who are we gonna bring? Yes, we're gonna bring Vetra and Drac. Yes. No? Yeah, well, we're good. <gasps> yes. Sam, send Callow the nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Drac, we're landing on Elodin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. Is that why? Oh my Is that way. what we're doing? I was just coming because the Turians are here, but, uh... I also want to take care of the Krogan, but that's going to be a while. Of course, maybe it's better to establish contact with them now, so I know as I'm wandering around what kind of things I can do to help them like me. Of course, it sounds like the Matriarch's gone insane. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. Ooh, they chose one with a nice view. Nice gas giant in the background. Wow, is that remnant stuff? Wow. Another desert world. Remnant ooh, ooh, starship? Ooh. No. Only 41% exposed. I will gather what information is I it can a starship? from Finder. This looks a little rough wear and tear here. Beautiful, my gosh. Even with my graphics not being as high as they could be. This game is gorgeous. Who lives here besides the Krogan? Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Really? Gonna be interesting. <laughs> he has a level one. Uh. Beautiful, isn't it? I remember the first time I saw this Evan? place. Evan? I thought, ah, this is home. I wasn't the only one. Heat levels increasing. There's... There's a... Asari and Angar in here. They're pulling apart remnant tech. I hate you all. Hi. Did I hear you talking about the remnant? Dunno. You an eavesdropping snake. Been breaking it down to sell. Could make a killing from the pieces. Uh, Ryder? You should check that out. Okay. I will. If hey. it isn't the path, Pathfinder, so happy our paths Yo. crossed. Your job is to search and study, right? You 
could say that. We've only just begun to discover Andromeda. There's so much here to figure out. The tech, how ours intersects. There are amazing things to be built. And you're the one to do it. Don't sell yourself short. We can all do that. Oh, I'm not long for this life. What? I came to this galaxy to die on a new frontier. I'm happy to impart my last bit of wisdom. What? I would be honored. Knowledge is power, Pathfinder. We brought the best of what the Milky Way could offer. You have the means to make all this better. So use your resources to study and decipher what's here. Grow from it. Build more efficient, powerful tools. Build the future. That is all. Augmentate? Oh my gosh, you're gonna help me build up. Well, thank you, guy. Jeez. Drunk. Huh? You talking to me? Okay. Locate a Krogan. Nice duds. Better watch your back. There's probably already a dozen people planning to kill you for them. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Just trying to help. So, what else can I do for you? Hi. What do you do on this planet? Why are you here? Why? Trying to find out where my claim is? No, what else relax. Do you do? I do the same as anyone else here. Try not to get killed. Where do you live? Where do you sleep? There's a flop house not far from here. There's always shelter. Maybe even a bed if someone died that day. Jeez. You know a Krogan named This Strux? is not why people wanted nope. to come here. But Krogan are hard to miss. Look around. Wait, I, I feel like we need to make We're this done. better. Suit yourself. For people, like... Like... <laughs> oh, are you, are you a girl, Krogan? Like, this is not what people wanted. This is not why they came here. Well, well, look at you. I'm good at reading people. Want me to guess who you are? Shoot. A Pathfinder. Oh boy. Impressive. How do you know? I cheated. I, run I was gonna say, I was like, she had to have gotten information. There. Should hear what the collective is saying about you. Okay. <laughs> well, now I'm curious. Don't worry. All good things. Ever work with a guy named Reyes? Reyes? He's one of my buyers, actually. You know him? Do I <laughs> ever? I'll pretend I didn't get the hint <laughs> on that one. <laughs> What's your take on Elodin? If the worm or the gang leaders worm. don't kill you, the heat and that are. I get to find one of those will. big things. I don't know how anyone can live here. Somehow they make it work. Barely. At least once a trip, an escaped slave or ex-cultist tries to bribe me for a, a ride. A slave? Except the Krogan. I've seen New Tachanka. We'd all be lucky to have a setup like theirs. Uh, there's no slaves. You said you run Salvage to Kadara? How does that work? The scavengers come from Hell's Promise to sell me their scraps. I pay them next to nothing. Charming. Mm. Then what? 
I haul my loot to Kadara and sell to the merchants. The charlatan takes a portion of my haul, of course. I'm still sitting pretty. Sometimes I even buy water from Aenea and sell it at a premium in the flop house. It's a solid life. If you say yeah, so. Yeah. You must deal with the scavengers a lot. No more than I have to. Slavery, cannibalism, gang leader worship. It's enough to make my skin crawl. Uh... I plan to keep my distance. Smart. But it's not just the gang leaders. The ones in the paradise are dangerous too. This is supposed to be a neutral zone, but I don't trust the scavengers to follow the rules. Wow, Take it easy. this is worse than Kadara Port. Always do. Are you a croc and I need to speak to? Uh, let's see. Right there. Ah. Whoa. It's like living on the edge of Canyonlands or something. Are you Jorgal Strux? Maybe. You who I think you are? I'm the Pathfinder from the Nexus. You asked me to meet you here. Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. Everyone's best chance for survival is to cooperate. That includes the Krogan. Good. Nice to know some people are on our side. So, trouble at the colony? Fetra is efficient and businesslike. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? Hasn't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus. That much we know. Drak trusts Morda, and I trust Drak. Her. Morda's leading the colony for a reason. She's tough, but that's good. You're not there. I didn't Drak. know Drak disagreed. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. Krogan dying? Your homeworld's worse than this place. Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Morda's rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. We need the Krogan and the Krogan need us. We all came to Andromeda as one. We should at least try to fix this. Well, there won't be a colony to make peace with if Morda ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planning. Talk to Ravenar Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad <gasps> one. Thanks. Appreciate it, guy. Okay, uh, Krogan calling it, but apparently there's a forward station we need to activate right there. Let's get that activated. Dirties. Parlay. We have to parlay. Yee. 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 Long drop. Just try to take my forward station. Yay. How about you just not mash initiative pre profiles? Requires 83% more work. Weather deployment, outpost deployment, and not recommended. Ongoing, ongoing. Everything's ongoing. 